Here's another super fast video on making a mason bee house using plastic drinking straws. You can see the construction of this super simple. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces of wood. I used uh, rough sawn cedar. Put the whole thing together in probably 20 minutes. And then with just with scissors, cut drinking straws down to four inches in length and filled it full. Not positive straws are the best for mason bees. However, we have them in a couple of mason bee houses in the backyard, and they are, uh, they're uh, fully occupied, you could say. So uh, whatever, whether they're ideal or not, uh, the mason bees seem to love them, and uh, again, fully occupied. So th this is something you might just have laying around, drinking straws. They're, they're super cheap if you have to buy them, and uh, just cut them with scissors, cut them in half or thirds, how it depends on how long they are. These were like four inches long. So I had a bunch, these were cutoffs from the last Mason Bee house I made. And uh, so I used that dimension as the depth of my bee house and uh, cut the back and then the sides to that depth dimension. Uh, cut a 15 degree angle in the two side pieces so that the roof line uh, tilted to have water run off. However, this one I'm going to put in the yard where it doesn't get wet. So I probably won't put uh, galvanized metal on the top of it. Honestly, I did this only because the bees are out like mad right now and we thought, why not another house? And uh, again, you can see how quickly this went together. And using straws, like I say, we've done it now for years. And the bees seem to like them just fine. And you get a ton of uh, bee houses in a small area because the straws fit so tightly together. And they're, they're waterproof and uh, wasp-proof. And the bees seem to like them. They fill them up and mud over the end and uh, again we have very high occupancy out in our drinking straw mason bee houses. So I just bang this thing together with uh, waterproof glue, tight bond 3 glue and ring shank galvanized nails. Again just kind of whacked it together pretty fast. Um, <clears throat> to uh, get it outside before the bee season ends, which is very, 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 very short. They on, they're only out there for about 10 days. And uh, so you can see I just kind of whack this together, three sides. I put a little bit of a face piece on there because I wanted the opening to just have a little bit of a nicer look. So I put this little top piece on. It was about an inch and a half tall fill in that gap to make more of a square opening again totally for looks just for the fun of it. I notched the uh, board that goes on the top that forms the roof so that it would go around the back piece and uh, I cut I notched that and the notch that I made in it I made it at a 15 degree angle as well so that it would uh, fit up fairly tightly to the back board drilled a hole in the backboard to hang it from and then all there was left to do is fill it with straws and again you can fill it with straws in a matter of minutes just jammed them in there and uh, kind of knock them around a little bit to where they want to sit nice and flat these were multicolored our other ones are the same way same straws and they work like a charm so I'm not positive you need to fuss a whole lot I'm sure there are better ways and things the bees like better, but definitely our drinking straw houses work super, super well. And so this is just another super quick project you can knock out in a few minutes. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Thanks again.